some of you know most of you don't know that my students consistently get single digit tranks concerning the gate biomedical paper now what do you think is the reason for this and this has been the case since the gate biomedical paper started even like uh, gate 2020 onwards i was putting up some videos on biomechanics and all that on youtube many students actually thanked me for many of those videos said uh, they were very helpful and of course from 2021 i started uh, training them and mentoring them many of them every year consistently get single digit tracks students who did not clear the first attempt after training you know with me they have managed to get all india ranks 2 4 and all that some of the students have got all india ranks even, uh, you know, uh, single digit all India ranks one. And uh, so this performance has been consistent. You should know why this has been the case. Why do you think there has been consistent performance in the gate biomedical examination from my students? Since the biomedical exam started 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, right? Even 2024 and now this is the 2025 batch, right? So every year I can actually almost show many single digits, not just one or two. Why do you think this is a reason? See, 2024, uh, this instrumentation student who got um, just a study materials from me, study materials, all the recorded videos and uh, mock tests, he got single digit track. Then 2022 student, right? He was an electronic student. He actually took the full course. He got single digit rank. In fact, he got all India rank one, both of this 2022 and 2024. So why do you think this is a case? Because there is something that I want to, one particular thing that I want to point out. Any guesses? You may not be audible, but you could type in. There are many things from the student side. From my side, I can actually point out one specific thing. There are many things, but I can point out one specific thing. So some of the things that are being mentioned here as one as this focused study material. Study material, actually, if you think about the extracurriculars that we do, physiological engineering that we do, it's not all that focused. So, but see, before the gate examination, undergraduate, undergraduate level biomedical exams in the country, they typically test you theory, right? Write essays, multiple choice, this, that, and all that. Only with starting in 2020, we realize hey, many of these things can be quantified. We can ask numericals based on this, right? Study material was actually missing. Undergraduate study material is actually missing. The study material that I prepared is one of the first for as far as this country is concerned. Even in IITs, many IITs were not offering undergraduate degrees. They offer uh, PG degrees, right? MTech, PhD degrees. As far as BE, BTEC is concerned, that study material was really missing, which is a gap that I kind of filled. So this is one of the kind and interactive classes. Of course, many of my students say they like the classes. Fine, okay. the way I teach and they like the class, they like the way they participate in the class and all that. They like the way I challenge them in the classes and all that. And then you also mentioned mocks and enforced. In fact, another student is saying, Concepts you teach are exactly what GATE asks. So I should kind of highlight that. Concepts, so this is a live response. Concepts you teach exactly what asks. It boils down to, in fact, to this thing. Students who have used just me mock tests have managed to get single digit all India ranks. Because the best preparation material out there or these mock tests. Of course, it's designed in a way such that the series mock test, series of mocks are designed in the way that there is a feedback loop involved. You can see what your weaknesses is. You can see what your strengths are. Accordingly, you can reinforce and then uh, improve, right? So there is a feedback loop between one mock and the other, right? And the mocks or also, first of all, they are not easy. They are certainly gate level. 
one as they are gate level the questions are as hard as they make it in the gate exam but that is not what is made makes it interesting the questions are also framed at a great level the same concept you can frame it frame the question same question you can frame it in a easy way you can frame it in a harder way easy to understand what what is being asked right that can be done gate is actually very well known actually gate is not very well known but gate is notorious for obfuscating questions if you read the question it's not clear what they are asking right you are known for obfuscating questions the way that i frame questions certainly follow that pattern if there is a surprise element very well known concept once you get back out of the examination discuss with a friend or one of your teachers or mentors you understand this is what i couldn't actually understand this is what they were as- asking right gate always frames questions in a way it surprises you during the exam you have solved hundreds of such questions but that surprise factor is always there whether it's well known or you know that's a different question but gate questions surprise students during the examination it is specifically designed that way and the papers the questions that i have framed set also consider this surprise factor so say there is a gate question i don't exactly put it that way because you are familiar with it right the surprise factor is not there i always modify it and add the surprise factor and put it and sometimes it's always a good idea to you know try and harder than what you are preparing for so this is sometimes is also solvable questions many questions are harder there are some un, uh, you know unsolvable questions both in the mock test as well as in the gate paper that is intended to waste time of the unprepared or the uninitiated but there are many hard questions that are solvable right those questions are slightly harder in the paper that i test so that your practice is very good so concepts you teach are exactly what what gate asks in fact i would i would make a minor change concepts actually the questions that show up in the mocks questions that we frame in the mocks is almost very similar to what shows up in the gate exam it's all the same concept the concepts are not going to be different or like uh, 20% of the concepts 80% of the questions right they are not going to differ a lot but the questions the way that i frame them and uh, it also boils down to the ability for me to predict right new gate questions synthesize gate questions generative human intelligence right not gen i this is gen h i g h i right predict new gate questions so this is one strong ability when i was a student i had this knack of clearing exams right but now that i am a teacher and this ability to predict what they are going to ask how they are going to ask gives me this a uh, huge advantage that is one thing that i would really actually uh, you know separate out out of many of the things that is mentioned here having said that there are many things that i have publicly you know put it publicly this is like there is a full length mock trial 1 there is a full length mock trial 2 that is already out there the question interface is not gate interface you can always go to the gate interface take a trial exam but interface is different you can take it in a laptop or a mobile for any any of those things it works you can take the examination and then it is automatically graded the solutions are available answer key is available solution video is put up there so most many of the tips hints needed to solve that questions that are hard reasonable explanations all of that is already publicly available but i noticed not many are making use of it so this is available what i am planning to do is to actually make a list of aptitude questions also available the best way to actually uh prepare for aptitude is act to take uh aptitude questions typically you know take one gate previous year gate question papers solve all the aptitude questions you get nice practice i have also made uh, subject wise aptitude tests subject wise engineering mathematics tests and all that i'll certainly upload and make this aptitude tests available for everyone if possible i will also make this 
engineering mathematics and many other uh, engineering mathematics and other subjects we'll see how students are using it how and whether students are using it so that i am planning to do